Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all okay. Okay, I get, I get asked this question so many times. What's our next move? Um, this can be for you if you've had a little bit of communication or if you've just had no communication. So that's what I'm going to specifically look into today because I do get asked this question a lot. You know, what is, what is, how is the energy moving at the moment? What's their next move? Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle these. Just while I'm shuffling though, if you would like a personal read, just click on the title of the video. That will take you through to the description box and everything is in there. Also, there is a free relationship report in there as well. Okay, let's Start, next move, fair next move please. Oh, confess. Mm. Ah, this is interesting, blocked. Obviously on the right track today, I think. Right, okay, pretty straightforward this. I'll go into it deeper, I'll see what their feelings, well okay, I'll see why they're looking for a way out. Um, you know, what, what's triggering them, why they're looking for a way out, basically. But they are on the verge of confessing something to somebody. The energy is one of confession, one of possibly saying sorry. But sat in the middle is the blocked. So, okay, if you have had, this is very specific, if you've had some communication Say, for example, you, you have a message and then you think, okay, you reply, but then you get nothing back. You just don't get anything back from this person. Their energy is yo-yoing. They want to confess something. They want to talk about something. Uh, just get these cards. I think they are frightened because they know they have betrayed you in a very painful way. Um, there's a lot of fear and apprehension I think on your part regarding this this connection and how it ended. Your person though is looking for a way out of the situation they're in at the moment. So with regards to sort of you know their next move, let's get a bit deeper. What's this way out about please? I think being away from you has revealed some painful truths to them. I think that's what they want to talk about. They want to say, it's how much they miss you as well, but just it's what it wants to come out. They just, um, yeah, they're looking for a way out. They, they miss, they miss your love, the Empress. They miss you, the Empress has come out, you know, that's your energy. Um, they miss the fact that you nurtured them you probably could have mothered them you looked after them you made them feel loved you nourished that connection let's just see what else why else have we got a way out yeah they're wherever they are ten of swords the cycle's ending if they're paying for their mistakes if they are in this sort of energy of the ten of swords they've hit rock bottom they really have, whatever they've gone to, they've hit rock bottom. The drama, the chaos, the bitching, the backbiting in their environment, it's reaching its finale. They can't go on anymore. They just can't go on anymore. I think today someone's been looking for a way out for a while. Um, and I think for those of you who don't get any messages, this person really does want to talk to you, but they are very fearful about the way that they betrayed you. And also, I don't think they're doing too well themselves. I think they're quite mentally not in a brilliant place. Probably got a lot of anxiety. Um, very tired. Possibly even some depression, to be honest. I think it will take them, and I think this is part of the problem, I think it will take them a lot of energy to get out. It's almost like they've left it too late. By that I mean from a from an energy point of view. They just thought they could kick all these balls up in the air. Even though they weren't happy, they've been faking for so long. Keeping all these balls up in the air, thinking, oh, well, I'm here now, I'll get on with it. 
but now they've landed in a Ten of Swords energy and to get yourself out of that energy that's when you're really tired and you're really quite depressed and you're really very quite low and even just sometimes doing the simplest of things is an effort and I think that's the problem they've got at the moment they need to find a way out but I don't feel they've quite they haven't got the energy and I think for those of you that they do message and then they block you again or they don't reply it's like they have this spurt of energy that yeah I'm going to message my person I'm going to sort this out and then you reply and they're just like oh god I don't know what to do um, I really betrayed you they, I'm just getting that they're paying for their mistakes I mean if this is your person person is whatever the energy is today and they're in this ten of swords they're paying for their mistakes it's been a very painful experience I would say that your person has been betrayed um, I just have one more way out why are they looking for way out please way out yeah they are they, they're stuck in an environment they could have connected into um I would say strongly, they could be in, envi in an environment, I can't speak today, with someone who's a Taurus or somebody who's an air sign. But they have got themselves in a very narrow, narrow-minded environment where, they've, where they're not being heard now. They're not being heard. Their, their beliefs and their ways of doing things are not being heard for some of you I think your person probably could do with some sort of professional help really whether it's a counsellor or just somebody to sort of help them because I think they had such a hard betrayal in the past that they're still almost energetically corded into whether that is their past childhood whatever it is first love they're still energetically corded into that, and I think your person would benefit from some form of advice or even counselling I'm getting here. Their belief systems don't match where they are now. They're just going along for the ride because, you know, today their next move, they'd like to make a move, and they want to make a move, but they're just, they're just exhausted. They're just exhausted. They're very, very tired. Very, very tired. It's almost like they haven't got the strength, really, um, to carry on. Um, they've lost their confidence a lot. If they were a very confident person, I think, especially if they're older, it's almost like their confidence is running out. They've blustered and... and Oh, they've they've kind of blustered for so many years now, but it's I just feel it's caught up with them. You know, it's like they've got to drop a mask. They have got to drop a mask. Let's have a couple more, please. Yeah, they're trapped where they are. They might have material wealth and assets, but they are trapped. But. When I'm saying they need to drop the mask, they've gone through a lot of their life thinking that physical comforts were everything. Whether that's a nice house, a nice car, lots of sex, lots of different partners. Everything in the material that brought an instant sort of comfort or a dopamine hit to their physical existence, they really felt that was it. But they've gone past that now. And they really just... They're just at the wit's end. They're just at the wit's end. So like I say, for some of them, they'll be trapped. They've got them trapped in a lifestyle that now needs um, funding. And this could be causing them a lot of stress and anxiety. So if they've got themselves into another relationship where there's other children that need paying for, they're realising this needs funding and they are trapped. They're not... They're like trapped in a bit of a cage, like almost like a gilded cage, where they've got all these commitments they've got to pay for. And they can't. They can't. Let's have another one. 
they do want to communicate with you they do miss you um, yeah for some of them they have overcommitted financially so they are now looking at new ways of possibly developing their business their career their job or their pension pot you know whatever age group but it, they are looking at developing their finances they do spend a lot of time thinking about you they do spend a lot of time having conversations I think in their head they're very much up in their head very much up in their head about you but also very much up in their head about this situation that they're trying to um, they're trying to fund at the moment they're trying to fund at the moment for some of you if you've ever had any hormone hormonal issues they weren't very supportive they, they weren't very very supportive about that let's see what else we've got please then I'm going to go see what their feelings are for you specifically. Just to pull one more card, then I'm going to do their feelings for you. They really are stuck, though. <sighs> wow, closure. The closure cards come out. I'm going to read this two ways today. I think for some of you, you were very meek and mild with your past relationship you sacrificed a lot of your own needs wants and desires to be with this person I think you have to be extremely emotionally strong to care for this person there could have been an element in the past where you were also having to care for other people whether it be children or elderly parents or something of that ilk for some of you I think you have become so strong and so confident in yourself you've given yourself closure on this you have got sick and tired really of waiting for this person to come forward you've gone in within yourselves and you have healed yourself it's been one heck of a lonely journey for you really lonely and you would be just quite happy for some of you just to have a conversation to get some closure now your person's energy they want closure as well but I think they want they want closure on where they are they want closure on where they are they want to close the cycle down that they are in at the moment but they have over committed to this cycle they have got sucked in you know they could have taken out loans or I don't know, car loans or house loans or something, but they've got sucked into paying for a lifestyle that is not going to be easy. And they are so, so anxious at the moment. This person's very, very anxious. Like I said, I think they need, this person could do a seeing a counsellor really to break this cycle that they've been going through let's see how they feel about you let's see how they feel about you now i just don't think some of you though want the emotional i don't know crap anymore i think you spent a lot of time caring for this person and putting their for putting their feelings first you carried a lot of the burdens you were the one that calmed everything down and specifically today, I'm getting your person wasn't always stable, but because of your stability, you kept them stable. You kept them level, especially if they have any mental health issues. But where they are now, they haven't got that. So they're very, 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 very much in their head. Very much in their head. Because they're not getting that care that they had. From you, they also just feel I'm just just, just channeling. They just feel very trapped. I'm getting trapped, 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 trapped. But worse off, they're trapped in their head. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I wish I could take back my words. Yeah, they do. They do. They want to confess. They're on the verge of it for some of for some of you. But I feel the ones of you that you do get some scant communication, then they just back off again. It's almost like they have a good day, 
when they think they can sort it out, but then they have a bad day when it's all they can do just to get through their day, really. I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, they, they know they've betrayed you. They know they've betrayed you. I don't think, I think, I just don't think mentally they can take much more. But that, that's really, you know, their next move. Very strong, just a bit dark energy today. Um, just kind of, oh yeah, it's come out double. There we go, ten of swords. I said just so I was saying it's a really dark energy. I could feel it. Ten of swords again. Had that out originally. But this is them. I'll show you the image. I mean, some tarot card. You know, you can just actually read by the image. The ten of swords is horrible. They just, they're just, yeah, they're just on their arse, really. They're on their arse. I don't think they wanted to let you go. I think for some of them, this is going to sound really weird. They wanted you and they wanted, a, they wanted someone else as well. But for some of you, by them wanting someone else, it wasn't by them not loving you, the other person maybe gave them more freedom to indulge in their physical addictions. Maybe the other person, you know, let them just do what they wanted to do, but this other person that let them do what they wanted to do, they did it to suck them in and that now they've got them there and they've got them trapped in this cage. So they've kind of dropped a wall down and said, no, you can't do what you want to do anymore. Oh, dear. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Yeah, your person wants to leave where they are now. They want to move on from it. They need support to move on, though. The environment they're in is really bitchy. There's a lot of backbiting going on. A lot of other people involved. Everybody wants to win. And everybody's bringing their best viciousness to the table your person wants to move on there's so much drama in their life at the moment but they need support they're ashamed they're ashamed they just want to get away from this ten of swords they wish they could come back they do wish that especially if you were involved, I have got like, especially an Aquarian, a January Aquarian, very strong. They wish that they could take back their words in some arguments, even though they won on paper or it looked to the outside world they'd won. There were no winners here. There were no winners. And the words that they said, the bitter words they exchanged with you, they wish they could just take part, take those back. I wonder if you're happy without me. Yeah. Your person is going between two camps here. Definitely going between two camps here. They did like the cake and eat it. Um... They thought they could just juggle everything. They thought they could keep everything all together, whether it's... They could even have two jobs at the moment or two forms of income they're having to use to pay for the cage they've got themselves into. With regards to you, like I said, one minute they want to confess, the next minute they don't want to talk to you. They are very, very much in their heads. They do wonder if you're happy without them. And some days they're really wondering. They're really, really wondering. And you could probably feel this, but other days they're like, no, they, they, they block it. They're blocking the connection. They miss the time you have together. Your person could have been a bit addicted to the honeymoon stage, though. By that, I mean they just like the newness of relationships, but that has burnt them out. They, you know, I've got two tens of swords on here. That's burnt them out now. Yeah, 
yeah, for some of you it was a long-term situation that started off very well, but somebody here likes the newness of a relationship. Yeah, they broke your trust, totally smashed your trust into, into the floor. Right, let's just see what the best possible outcome here is. Okay, I don't think anything's going to happen here at the moment. We've got the Eight of Cups. I think it's taken you so much strength to walk away from this relationship, even if it wasn't you. So metaphorically, even if somebody else walked away, they gave you no closure. Yeah, if someone gave you no closure, you, you had to find the strength to walk away yourself. You know, mentally and emotionally detach. That's your energy. Let's see what their energy is. Oh, they'll be back. Judgment card. Mm. Yeah, they want. They are in the future. Whoever this is, they're going to want an opportunity. It's not saying which way it'll go. Judgment doesn't, but it's saying that there will be an opportunity to discuss this whether you resolve the issues from the past um, and reconcile or whether it is just some form of closure. So if you are just looking for closure and you have walked away, but you know, it is nice just to sometimes have that final conversation. I think it, it, it is nice. I think it's decent. I think it's a human thing to do. Your person is going to come back in at some point. You know, it will be a make or break discussion. They want a make or break discussion with you. Okay. So that is the outcome in their energy. For your energy I'm getting, you're just going to keep walking. You know, you're you're looking to fulfilling your own desires and your own needs now. You, you know, you've had to become really, really strong. Really, really strong. So I hope that's helped someone today. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you want a personal read, just click on the title. It's all in the description box in the free relationship report. Just stay strong. Keep doing you. And for those of you who have, you know, really had to struggle with giving yourself closure and you're coming out the other end, you know, your ducks are lining up in the road. Keep going. You've got this. You've got this. You know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So sending you loads of love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.